Okay. What a night it was here tonight at Richmond. The 56th Annual Federated Auto Parts 400 uh, was quite the uh, event. And uh, Jimmy Johnson is our five-time NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion. He'll uh, go into the uh, chase as the number two seed as he contends for his sixth championship. But before I even get into NASCAR racing, congratulations, uh, Dad, on the birth of another beautiful young girl, Lydia Norris. Yes. And uh, just your thoughts about, maybe about that, and then just now, your thoughts about the chase. Um, you know, just obviously extremely uh, happy and proud and tired from the last few nights. Um, you know, Shani is home, uh, Lydia's home, and uh, they're both doing really, really good. So. Uh, we got them home about 11 o'clock today and uh, got some food and everybody. We all took some naps and then I, I flew up here and uh, got in the car and, and, and went at it. But, um, you know, just uh, the five time thing is awfully cool, but two time, I'm, I'm much more proud of being two time than anything. So uh, just an awesome couple of nights. So uh, ready to get home and, and see my girls. I'm obviously outnumbered in the household. Um, with my two daughters, my wife, and two female dogs. I need to find a male fish or something to put in the corner of the room so I have some more testosterone around or something. But uh, you know, all of that is just is really, really well. Uh, unfortunately, tonight here at the track, things did not go well. Um, you know, we literally would just wear the right front tire off the car as the, the night would go on and start off kind of fast and then run right through the right front tire and, and had some issues there. So uh, unfortunate night here. Um, but, uh, you know, as I look at you know, the string of bad races we've had here over the last three or four weeks, the big tracks that resemble the majority of the chase, we've been really fast. We've had a blown engine and a, and a tire failure at Pocono. And then Bristol here, you know, tracks that we don't see in the chase, we, we've, we haven't been fast at them and you know, we've had our issues. So I'm glad that Richmond and Bristol aren't in the chase and I feel like the 10 Car, or 10 tracks that are in the chase are very good for the 48 team. And uh, we'll start over on a clean sheet of paper next weekend and go at it. Okay, questions for Jimmy. We'll take a couple. Let's go to Tom and then Jenna. Let's get the mic over there, please. Who's got the wireless? Don't be bashful. Let's get it to Tom right here. Right there, you just passed him. And then to Jenna. Hi, Tom Jensen, FoxSports.com. Congratulations, two time. Thank you. That's cool. Um, Kyle Bush was in here yesterday and he said, you know, he was asked about the bad finishes you've had, and he just shook his head and he said the 48 team will flip the switch next week. No doubt about it when they go to Chicago. Do you guys believe that, or are you concerned at all with four bad races in a row? Yeah, I mean, there's always a little concern. I mean, without a doubt, you, you want to enter the chase with momentum. Um, and I think every team falls back on past history. And we have won championships without momentum going into the first race. Um, so we're going to fall on our uh, experience. And, and also the experience of knowing the chase is so different than anything else. And, and you're only racing 12 guys and not 43. So things, things change a lot. And we're going to go to a track that is very good for us. And we had a tire test there earlier in the year. It went really well. Um, you know, so I, I'd, I'm going to reserve any major concern or, or uh, you know, overwhelming confidence until after uh, Chicago. I'm going to go in there with the confidence I can go out and win because I know I know that I can. But uh, we're just going to enter nice and smooth and, and see how uh, Chicago goes. Jennifer, AP, I was going to also ask you a question along those lines about um, sort of uh, bad running. And believe it or not, you know, you did you know you've never finished 28th or worse in four consecutive races in your entire career? Uh -uh. Yeah. So anyway, because he asked that, because he asked that, we're going to ask a group question here. Um, group? Yeah. Are you, um, are, are you glad that, that, that the baby's here and that all the personal stuff is, is finished and, and you can now just focus on the racing? Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Um, I don't believe that the personal side has uh, distracted my focus by any means. I think moving forward with the... Uh, you know, with, with, with Lydia here, I almost call her Genevieve, with Lydia here, there's going to be more demands on my personal side. It's been pretty easy. I mean, Shani is uh, extremely supportive of my career and lets me have all the time and space I need to go do my job. So as the chase starts, I'm going to have more going on at home. Um, you know, we've, we've just had some bad tracks that we've run bad at, which, you know, historically we kind of show. And then the tracks that we run good at, we've had some issues. So um, 
definitely don't want to enter the chase with with no momentum, you know, like we have right now. But uh, Chicago's a whole new world, and and uh, the personal side, you know, things will pick up at home a little bit more now than, than they have. There's just no way around that. And uh, I think more than anything, I'll get less sleep, and I'll have to come to the motor home and get a good night's sleep on Thursday and Friday and really rest up for the weekend. We're going to take one more question for Jimmy. Uh, Stan, I saw your hand first. We'll take Stan, and then we'll release Jimmy and hear from Ron Newman. Jimmy, just did, did being away yesterday in a more important part of your life affect how you raced tonight at all? Was that a, was that a, a negative, just not being able to practice? Yeah, it definitely hurts the efforts of the team. Um, we tested here a couple weeks ago and felt like what we what we learned during the test was going to translate and be fine. So we had more confidence in making the decision to not be in the car yesterday. But uh, you know, without a doubt, it would have been best if I was in the car. Um, I'm not sure we would have gotten where we needed to. We were pretty far off tonight. Uh, speed was okay on the short run, but it would just run right through the tire and blow a tire. Thanks. Jimmy, thank you very much. Congratulations. Best of luck. Ryan Newman, thank you for coming in here. I know it's a very difficult time. Uh, just talk about uh, the, the uh, run out there this evening and uh, anything else you might want to say. Uh, we did everything we needed to up until the last caution, and I'm not sure exactly what unfolded there. And uh, we uh, still had the opportunity to win it on pit road, and we didn't. So um, coming from six to third and a couple laps is not bad, but uh, we had to win, so it's disappointing. Um, didn't expect to uh, make up for everything we didn't get in the first 25 in the last uh, race, but um, you know we were in position. We did everything we needed to with the exception of the pit stop. I'm not sure what happened with the uh, 15 on uh, that caution. Uh, obviously, we were in a position to uh, take that uh, second wild card with two wins. But um, nevertheless, uh, we still I still feel like we lost it on pit road, and um, it's disappointing. Uh, we'll go on, but uh, just thank Quicken Loans and uh, all our sponsors for giving us the opportunity to go out and do what we do, and we got 10 more to go. Let's go with Nate Ryan right here, please. Get him the microphone. Nate Ryan, USA Today Sports. Ryan, I know that obviously you can't be inside Clint Boyer's head, but knowing that that was a teammate of Martin Truex Jr., did, did, did that caution, did that spin seem suspicious to you? Or? I have no idea. I didn't see it. I'm not going to speculate. I just, yeah, they are teammates. I don't know if there was communication. I don't know if he knew what was going on. I don't know if he looked at the scoring pylon and knew that I was leading. And it doesn't matter. I mean, we, uh, if, if, if that was the case, I'll find out one way or another. If, uh, and at the same time, we still had the opportunity to, to make our own destiny and win it on pit road, and we didn't. So um, that being said, we're out. Take one more question for Ryan. Go to Jenna. Actually, we'll take two more. We'll go Jenna and this gentleman over here. Ryan, you took four tires. I mean, whose call was that? In hindsight, does it matter four or two there? We came in, came down pit road first, and Carl came off pit road second with four tires. We should have been at least second at that point. So, I mean, we just didn't do our job on pit road. That's the bottom line. Four tires won the race. We were in position to be the first car on four tires, and we didn't get the job done. Final question, sir. Go ahead, please. Okay. Ryan, thanks for coming in.